What's up guys, today Michael is here and I know last week he talked about the new scanners and stuff he's got. It's supposed to have some new tools, so I'm excited about this one. So let's go see what's on the Matco truck. It's gonna be awesome. Love new stuff. Y'all been hard at it? No mm -hmm. problem here for today. Uh oh, got a beer pong set. Well, it's micro pong. Uh oh. That's what they say. <laughs> Matco pong That's set. That's right. Woo. We're gonna have to play a game of that after 5 o'clock today. <laughs> One of those days, huh? That's pretty cool, cool. though. Yeah. Pretty cool. Ain't nobody else got that. Well, how did the, all the new tools work out? They're going good. Um, sold them, got them back in, uh, and having some more hits on them. So I've got them right there on the toolbox. Man, that is a cool looking. That's one of the new ones. Uh, oh. They're doing a trial color on that. That's the military green. Yeah. So they're gonna see how everybody responds to it, and they may add that to the to the line of colors. I, I really liked it. Thanks, sharp man. I like it. Which they redefine, they redesign some of the features of it too. Um, it's got a flat bottom now instead of having uh, compartments, and they started rolling the edges here a little better underneath here, and uh, they made some improvements trying out a new color. So the top. The way it bends down, is it like all of them like that, or is it just this uh, style? I think it's this style here. It's pretty cool looking, though. Yeah, but got it in yesterday. I actually had another car, sold it this morning. It didn't Ooh. make it a day, so it made it on the truck overnight. That's all it lasted. So. What color was it? It was silver vein. Cool. It was uh, uh, that one there. The color there, silver vein. But now that one, it may be sold. I don't know yet. Um, well, that's good. That's the name of the It's game. got a hit on it already, so we'll see how that goes. Get them in and move them. That's right. Get them in and move them. Yeah. That's our new thought uh, ball I was telling you about. As you can see, it's a nice sleek, sleek design. Be able to get in tight spots, 16 mm -hmm. volt. Had a lot of people interested in it as well. It's one of my exhaust shops and stuff. What's that? This is the new 16 volt quarter inch. Um, got more torque, more speed. One of the complaints that we were hearing about our quarter inch is it would go too slow. Yeah. It would have torque, but it would go too slow. So we added some speed to it. That way, mm -hmm. get the bolts in and out. Plus, they come in green. I don't know where Bill is, but <laughs> he'll be in here in a minute. What is this one? That's the same thing, quarter inch. Quarter. Offered in green and orange, which I think we've discussed it on prior videos. The new, newer generation likes colors, so yep, that's okay. We got colors too. That is nice. That right there is sharp, though, the way it's made. Yeah, um, they don't have that big hump on it. I'm gonna run and get uh, some, some blades for it and. Uh, I'm gonna try it out and see. I think I have some blades at the house. If not, I'll just order some. And I'm gonna try it out and see how it works. Yeah, those are those are cool right there. Got a whole bunch of coats and stuff. Coats, jackets, shirts. Got an extra large now. Do you? Good yeah. deal. That's Sitting out there. Cancel the breast cancer shirt there. I think that might be. Is that it? Right here. Right there. That's it. That would work good with your camouflage army helmet, Bill. Bill's got a camouflage army helmet he keeps in his toolbox. Is that for when the going gets tough? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you, as a technician, and I'm sure technicians can vouch for me, there's times, when y'all don't have no racks, but I'd be working on a car and need to rack and get busy and going and hit my dog in the head on the rack or on the tire, and I wish I had an army helmet. <laughs> I, I about knocked myself out. A well, Bill's is little, man. It's like a G.I. Joe one. It's just like that. Well, that's grand. not going to help you very much. <laughs> we were doing a 
toolbox tour one day, and I just happened to look down and see it in there. It did. He had a fishing court and a little mini army helmet in there. I bet Fred know what he used to I have no clue where it comes from. I did that as one of the questions in one of my giveaways one time. I, I did a giveaway, give away some tools, and that was one of the things. What unique item did Bill have in his toolbox? If somebody remembered it, I said they came off a large army hill. There you go. Look how skinny that saw all is. See, so he's going straight to the grain. I'm yeah. looking for God, 16 volt quarter inch. I don't know how much quarter inch stuff y'all use since y'all weren't on the big stuff, but. Skinny in it. And light, too. They built that after you, Bill. Long and skinny. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> that was made for you. Bill's going to have to have some new boots. You need to send a pair of them red We need to get y'all in some of those red boots. That's why I was just looking at Y'all don't need a pair of them. We're going to start a GoFundMe for Bill's boots because his whole bottom come off of it. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I finally had to retire that pair. He did burnouts in them. That's what's wrong. Smoked, smoked a soul, didn't you, Bill? Yep. Hey, whatever works. <laughs> well, where's the... You got the new scanner? I got it at the house. Uh, the only reason... And I may bring it up here uh, later on today. Before I left this morning, I messed up, hit the update button, so it started that process. Uh oh. But um, everybody's there's a lot of folks interested, especially being able to do. Well, and that's the big thing. I, I uh, I'm wanting to hook it up and play with it before I put it on here, because I don't I don't want somebody to ask me a question and I mean yeah. I know. So I want to get on it and, and play around with it. But it'll be on the truck Monday. I'm gonna spend all weekend playing with it and uh, really testing that out and seeing what it is. I've kind of tested the wires on it and I was really impressed with like, I, I did it, my wife kind of got mad at me because I was, it was like 9.30, 10 o'clock one night and I was out in the car just playing with it. But <laughs> I got it that evening and, and I started wanting to play with it. And there you go. It, it, I really liked the features of it. In fact, when I was a dealer technician, I really liked the dealership's computer because I knew where everything was, it was simplified. Yeah. But I would actually pick this computer over it. Really? Just because of how simple it was. It, it actually told me more than what the factory computer was telling me. I mean, it was right there. And, and it blew my mind at, at the access that I had immediately. So. Well, everybody's looking forward to it. Because if it do from a Volkswagen to a Peterbilt, it's a good one. Yeah, they're supposed to be releasing the HD box for it uh, here in November. So I'm We'll try to get one of those real quick too. That way, we can see what all it'll do. What you done found, Bill? Nothing that I want to use. If I'm going to be working on drum brakes, I'd rather them be on a big truck. It's a whole lot simpler. Mm -hmm. Spring configuration is simple. The car back brakes and aggravating. Well, I, I, I think can. the hardest one that I've ever done, which I ain't did just a whole lot of them, was on a Chevrolet, and I hated it. That's what you did, ain't it? The mine was on the one I did last night on the board van. Well, I tell you, I always left one side together. That way I go back. Have a cheat sheet. Yeah. Well, I got it after somebody else took both sides down and didn't hop it back together. So that might have been why it was so hard. But either way, I, I've just hated drum brakes since. Like big truck brakes is so easy. Like you put them together, slap them on. I've never did big truck brakes, so you know it's car brakes. The time it takes to do drum brakes on a car or pickup, I could probably do... To do two wheels on a, on a car or pickup, I could do a big truck all four wheels. Really? Yeah. I, I, yeah, could, I could do a four wheel brake job on a truck taking my time and, and it take an hour. Huh. Way easier. And that's torquing Way the wheels easier. and everything. What you buying today, Bill? I don't know. I'm undecided on what I need at the moment. So I'm gonna be getting some more new stuff. I don't want to... As you can see, the truck stocked back up, ready to go. Well, I actually nice saw the multimeter. Yeah, I like that multimeter there. Sold the orange box Monday, so I picked these two up yesterday. I sold one of them. We'll try to sell that one later today. Yeah, I might get money. Hey, did you uh, did you bring his thing? Ooh, they found something. Did you find that bit? He found that bit.
Not yet. <laughs> he found it. He got tickled to death the other day when he came in and found some bills. Something else I might have grabbed up for the truck was a ball joint press. Mm -hmm. I think every truck needs that. It's not something yeah. somebody wants to use, but when they do need it. It sure makes changing ball joints easy. That's a master set too, man. It? it is. Yeah, it's got all the pieces in it. It is. What is that set, man? Let me look back up and see. That set is three ninety four. Three ninety four. For a master set, I'm okay with. It. Yeah. I think that's probably one of the cheaper ones. Got it again. He accused his wife of it. Now you have to tell everybody what really happened. Before. It was in the basket. I got to looking for. I, she's got a little basket there in the kitchen where I always put my keys. And when she cleans the kitchen, she'll take everything and put it in that basket. So, yeah, it's her, it's her fault. It is her fault. I agree with you. It's her but fault. It's my fault for not finding where she put it. It was in the bottom of the basket. <laughs> so it's technically her fault, but kind of not all her fault. Yeah. Do you owe her an apology? Apology shows signs of weakness. Oh, you got to be a man, Bill. I'd apologize, wouldn't you, Michael? I'd apologize. I'd apologize. You ain't going to do it? <laughs> no. Maybe behind closed doors, but not in the public. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you ain't right, Bill. You ain't right. All right, guys, we're going to turn this thing off and uh, what get Michael taken care of, and we will show you what all we got. All right, guys, y'all seen Michael had a lot of good stuff on the truck, and he's getting a lot more new stuff, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, me and Bill both ordered a tool from Michael today, so maybe it'll be in next week, and hopefully we'll get a good look at that new scanner. Um, I talked to Michael off camera, and what he's planning on doing is maybe getting with me, um, and that way we can spend a little bit of time with the scanner, and that way you guys will get a good close look at it. So, that should be cool. Anyway, this is what I picked up today. Uh, Michael got a t-shirt in for me it's the breast cancer t-shirt so that's pretty cool but anyway guys that's my video today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you do make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe down here below and we will catch you guys next time y'all have a great weekend